In this video, we're going to begin taking a look at ratios and how they can be reduced. What a ratio does is it compares two values. And we have three different ways that ratios can be represented. One of the most common ways we see is as a fraction. If we were comparing the number a and b, we would see a over b comparing a to b. Another common way that we see is with a colon in between the two values, which is read a to b. Or a third way is just with the word to written in between them, a to b. And because ratios can be written as a fraction specifically, we can reduce them in much the same way. When we're asked to reduce a ratio, we will write it as a fraction and reduce the fraction. So for example, if we're given this information, that the ratio of cats to dog in a city is 15 to 35, we want to write that as a reduced ratio. 15 to 35, written as a fraction, would be 15 to 35. And we see this fraction can be reduced by dividing both the numerator and denominator by 5 to give us 3 sevenths. Or you might express the ratio as 3 colon 7, or even with the word 2 in between, 3 to 7. All three of these would be correct for the reduced ratio. Let's take a look at one more example. Here we're told that the ratio of paper thrown away to paper recycled is 63 to 45. We want to write this as a reduced ratio. We'll change that 63 to 45 to a fraction, 63 over 45. And then we might see that both of those numbers are divisible by 9. Or you can divide by 3 twice and do it in two steps. But if we see the 9 first, 63 divided by 9 is 7, and 45 divided by 9 is 5, and we get the reduced ratio 7 to 5, 7 colon 5, or 7 to 5, whichever method of writing the ratio you prefer. All three of these are correct, representing the reduced ratio of paper thrown away to paper recycled. When we want to reduce a ratio, we simply write it as a fraction and then reduce the fraction.